Yeah. I didn't know I was in a different country until like I woke up in the morning, couldn't drink the fucking water that came out of the tap because it would poison me. And did, then did you brush your teeth with it? No, no, you no, can't do that. No, either. You can't do that. You get barley belly, or whatever yeah. they call it. Barley yeah, yeah, belly, or yeah. whatever fucking gangrene that comes out of the thing. <laughs> Only fans, guys. Where it's like, wait. Is all of our platform porn? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we remember the CEO oh, came out. He's yeah. like, wait, it's all porn. No way. Wait a minute. It can't be. <laughs> Have you ever had a chick with like fucking prickly face hair? No. <sighs> that's a that's a tough... Uh, it's a tough this is a tough one to get around, you yeah. know. I could get there in the end. No, I got there in the end. Yeah. But oh, I mean, like, well, when I got, got up, and, <sighs> especially in like high school. And Wait, I didn't have much facial hair. Is there I more mean, bearded women in high school than I was aware of? The ones I was shagging. <laughs> <laughs>
So, but the passage of the new law by Indonesia's parliament on Tuesday threatens to scare away tourists again, despite assurances that some officials that foreigners will not be affected. So it's like tourists can come over and fuck and bitches, fuck. Yeah, but yeah. Balinese and Indonesians can't fuck before marriage. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, and uh, who's this? Jenny, Hu- Jenny Hewitt, Jenny Hewitt a-, a travel journalist who has lived on and off Bali since 2016. I was shocked when I saw the headlines. I think Balin- the Balinese community will be thinking this is m- a massive setback to tourism, which is what I thought. Yeah, no, it's got to be. Like, you go on holiday, you're on a fucking... Bali, for, for American listeners, Bali's like our Mexico. Like essentially, like, like yes. it's it's very close to us, and when you want like a fucking big old blowout of a weekend, and mm. you don't want anyone to find out about it, yeah, and yeah, you're, you're probably doing some nefarious things over there, sort of thing, like you know, shag yeah. shagging the local lady boys and stuff, you know, as you do in Bali, yeah, you get cheap tattoos and stuff like you know that is it's very much a part of Australian culture is going to Bali. Oh, for sure, yeah, no, that's that's the um. Well, that and Bali and New Zealand are the two closest international flights. Yeah, out, I think. Well, not not necessarily just Bali, but like Indonesia, like that area. Yeah, it, it's affecting all of Indonesia. I think. Yeah. These laws, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like you. Yeah, you. I swear, you're landing in Indonesia, but they're the two closest locations for yeah. us from from Australia, and like. I mean, it's well and good to go around Australia, but sometimes you just want to, like, check something off on your fucking passport, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, I want a new stamp kind of thing. Yeah. And then when you go over there, you get, like, a... You get an entirely new perspective on life. You're like, when I was going down the streets in there, you would hear... Well, you would hear non-stop taxi beeps. Beep, 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 beep. And it's just like, dude, if I wanted to be in a taxi, <laughs> I would have already been in a taxi. I'd be whistling. Yeah, no, no, you like don't even GTA need to. Floor, there's, like. You look around and there's a cab and you would just get into a cab. And it is a, I mean, it's a hustle when you get into the cab because you don't know where he's taking you. You don't know how many... He um, barely speaks English. No, he doesn't speak any English. And you and No, he, and he does from, sign language to you. For most Australians who go over there, they don't speak any of that language. No, no, <laughs> no. no. Like, thank God for Google Maps. Yeah, yeah. Thank God. And I'm um, thank God that like, they've sent a fucking Google truck around there to scan the area. But, like, when you're going from, like... Me, me and Kelsey would go from, like, the city to an outskirts location. You have no idea. It's 100% trust. In that in that taxi driver that you're gonna hand him, I just I just throw like wads of fucking three dollar coins in their in their currency at, at him, which was $3. like thousands of dollars in their thing. Three dollar coins. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Like it was like hundreds of thousands of dollars, yeah. and I'm like, just take three of them, and he's like, this is this is everything. The best to day me. ever. But you don't know where you're going. No, no, no. It, like, and you just fingers crossed. This is someone who's not trying to sell you into some sort yeah. of slavery situation and imagine not knowing where you're going and then being told that you can't fuck bitches when you get there <laughs> like jesus like no one's gonna go uh, <laughs> yeah. like what you gotta put a ring on it before you you know I fuck, fuck the bitch when you get there there's no way if you interviewed the fucking 1.5 million tourists a year that bali brings in mm. um and you asked them you plan on fucking this weekend like it'd be it'd be a higher number yeah I mean most would say no just out of like you know my wife's watching yeah until <laughs> until like I come along and touch your leg <laughs> yeah now that you're saying something different I don't start the weekend fucking yeah, but yeah. you know always end <laughs> I mean I never say in the morning that I'm gonna jerk off but you know <laughs> always ends the same way <laughs> end up in the same spot in the yeah you know it, it gets pretty rough out there I just thought it was such an interesting um thing to ban like because, why did be- they do it? Why? Why? I don't know. Uh, well, isn't that country? How can you? Isn't that country? Why like would you ban this? Eighty percent Muslim now. It probably goes against like the religious beliefs of the politicians who Dude, are running the, the country. Journalist. What the fuck? For those listening, we're looking I, at a I dime. Bet, I bet she's upset. <laughs> no, no, that's the journalist. She's writing about it. Yeah, yeah, it. I know. She said she's upset about it. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, yeah, I, I bet. <laughs> oh, I yeah. bet. I bet some of your best weekends are in Bali. Come back to Australia. No, but <laughs> before marijuana was legal everywhere, it'd be like Amsterdam banning marijuana. Like, yeah. it, like, okay, well, that just... Now I'm not going you, to Amsterdam you, when you, I go to Europe. You used to be known for being that country. Mm. 
or like Vegas banning gambling. It's yeah. like that was that was your thing. No, you did. You, you built you built the whole city on it, and now you're like can't do that anymore. Well, good luck. I mean, fucking no one's coming here. So like the stigma when you go to Bali is to party, or at least for it's our a party age, thing. our age bracket, bracket of like you know twenties, mid twenties. Um, but you were like a part of partying is the fucking <laughs> like, sure. Jesus, like no one just goes over there for yeah, a few yeah, beers. Yeah. I don't consider it a party unless I fuck. <laughs> You know, I'm either fucking up the party or fucking <laughs> someone at the party. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the bar, the Balinese go hard. All them pseudos that you, yeah, you know, I, I won't get into. That. I get them banning drugs and all that sort of stuff, and like the harsh laws that come with that. That's just part of the country sort of thing. But banning premarital sex with like with uh, prison time as the fucking repercussion. Is yeah. crazy to me. I'm like, yeah. whoa. Like this guy, um, it's just another thing you got to worry about when yeah. you're over there. It's like I'm already on one when I'm there. And they want Australians to come over, get pissed, have a good time sort they of thing. They sell bintangs at the, at the 7-Eleven. Ban- they've banned drugs. They've banned sex. Mm. What are they, like, you know. I didn't know I was in a different country until, like, I woke up in the morning, couldn't drink the fucking water that came out of the tap because it would poison me. And did, then, did you brush your teeth with it? No, no. You no, can't do that no, either. You can't do that. You get barley belly, or whatever yeah. they call it. Barley yeah, yeah, belly, yeah. Or whatever fucking gangrene that comes out of the thing. <laughs> Sludge. This absolute poison. They that call comes it. Out. They call it barley belly. Yeah, because you get like uh, you get the shits or whatever. Yeah, you from can't drink, drink the, tap, the water. tap water. I woke up in the morning hungover, and I'm like, oh god, do I need water? And then I went to drink out of the tap, and I'm like, oh no, no, that's kryptonite. And I'm like. I need to go down to the 7-Eleven to buy bottles of water so I can brush my teeth. Do you know, like, room service? Not in the place that we were staying in. So oh, you, I don't you were, know. like, in the trees. Yeah, well, like, for a portion, I was in the trees. But when I was in the city, the, there was a 7-Eleven at the corner. But, like, oh, okay. I had to go out to, like, fucking 34-degree temperature. It was, like, completely humid. There's traffic going. There's taxis beeping. Do I need a cab? No cabs. <laughs> no, no cabs. No, no cabs. Don't need no cabs. cabs. Go into the 7-Eleven, get, like, three litres of water, and then I just see that bintang just sitting there, that long neck. Gonna grab a long And there's, neck. A, there's a large <laughs> selection of, like, you know, mango, orange, and I'm like, oh, get one at yeah. least. Got one. It was open by the time I got back to the room. Now, now we're now we're back in Bali. That's what it feels like. And I think that's what sort of uh, confuses me about that place and about their tourism. It's like we want you to come over here and make bad decisions, but we're going to get rid of all the vices. That doesn't make sense to me. Mm. It's like um, we it's like a casino getting rid of gambling. It's like we well, we want you to be safe and you know all that. Yeah, like putting no, a cap we, we or want, whatever. We do cheap tattoos and stuff because you know you get drunk and you're like, oh, yeah. I'm in Bali, I'll get a real cheap tattoo. That's a mistake. But like yeah. they're getting rid of them all. This person, uh, well, well, Hewitt, the the dime that was in that photo <laughs> the before. <dime>. Um, <laughs> no, the the credible journalist, the, the credible the, journalist, the Pulitzer Prize yeah. winning. That is a questionable photo. Why did they use this one? It's not like remember when you did one of fucking. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll move on. Um, Hewitt said that she expected a massive drop off in LGBTQ tourists traveling to Indonesia. Oh sure, yeah, they'll be going to more friendly places like Thailand. I bet there's a lot of yeah because they want to finger each other. I bet no, gotta- I bet there's a lot of straight white middle aged dudes with wives who go over there to fuck boys. Yeah. I guarantee. Oh, it. definitely. Most definitely. most of the women over there are boys. It's like <laughs> it's like a candy shop. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> Most of the women over there Yeah, are even the one that's like, like, trust me, I'm a woman. They got dicks. Yeah, no, I had some questionable... Um, we, me and Kelsey had an encounter over there after a night out. Probably one of the... Um, most wild nights I've... Or definitely the most wild night I've had overseas where Kelsey and I went out with the intention of getting plastered in, yeah. in Seminyak. We're like, all right, let's suss this party vibe. So we went out... Got went to a couple of different locations. Got v- quite drunk, and um, both of us were pretty fucked up. We're smoking cigarettes in the club, fucking yeah, bopping yeah. up and down. That's one of my favorite ran things about into, that. Ran into a few different. Um, there were Balinese people, but they spoke fluent English. It was almost like they came to Australia for a period. Mm. You could have a normal conversation like this with them easily. We sent them back. 
<laughs> Jesus. Get the um, fuck out. <laughs> so they introduced us to a few different people, and, and some of them were tourists from different places. And then, then they go, um, oh, we're going to a different spot. Do you want to come? It's a, it's a nightclub. And we're like, yeah, yeah, we'll come. We're like, how we, how we get how we getting there? And they're like, oh, we're taking the scooters. Nice. And we're like, oh, okay. So are we all like getting a scooter? Like we're fucked yeah. right now. There's no way I'm riding riding a scooter. And it's like, chaos on the road. They're like, don't worry about that. No, no, no. And they're like, oh, you can just jump on the back of like we can both. You can get the Kelsey went with the girl, and then I went with the guy. So then we both get on the back of these scooters, cruising down these roads, and this bloke is fucking flying down this thing. <laughs> yeah. And then he keeps saying to me, he's like, dude, you're not leaning with me on the corners. Oh, you're fucking up his lean. And I'm like, oh, trust me, bro, <laughs> I'm leaning. You don't need to be going this fast. So we're just flying down these roads. You're and like, he's you're going, like correcting it. <laughs> yeah, no, like, hey, not too he's far. just fucking, he's like Michael Schumacher or whatever that, yeah. <laughs> is Schumacher even the, he's a Formula One guy. Yeah, yeah, not the bike guy. Who's is the bike bloke? Kelly Slater? Yeah, well, whatever. Oh, is he a surfer? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's going through these quarters, like leaning into that. And I'm like, we don't need to get that close to the ground. And I'm like trying to correct <laughs> he him. Corrected he it. corrected me on the thing. And then like, we got there in the end, but fucking hell, I was absolutely shitting it mm. on the back of that thing. The way that he, they just dart in and out of track. They got so much confidence on the road. Yeah, for sure. And, they, and they do it a thousand times a day. What I didn't realise over there is um, when you're driving on the road, you are you don't use your horn as an aggression over here, like like you do here. Like yeah, when no. when you beep over here, you're like, fuck you. Yeah, you've yeah, yeah. Absolutely, you only beep when you've you're... You've cut uh, me off. But you cut, uh, you you beep over there to let the other person know that I'm you're there. Through, yeah. So it's which like is, a which is how the horn is designed. It, yeah, well, probably. Yeah. But we just use it for like, oh, I can't believe you've done this. Yeah, fuck <gasps> fucking you. boo. I want them to know. No, over there you're like beep beep. I'm over here. Okay. Then, let, yeah. let me ask you this: How uh you know fearing for your life? How tight are you grabbing that Balinese gentleman? Are you gripping? <laughs> Like you know, oh, yeah, are you he, caressing? He didn't. He didn't roll up to the place with the same amount of ribs. <laughs> Yo, like, was, you were, no, you was, were fucking bear hugging. him. I was bear hugging him <laughs> and correcting his weight while I was going down the thing. I'm like, dude, you don't need to be going. That he was going. If I fell off, I would have been fucked up. Yeah, of course, fucked up. I think that might be racist though. Why? You know, different culture, different roads. Like, I you should know. just trust his. I think speed. you should trust him. I think that's racist, dude. He was drinking with me. Okay, the yeah, entire well that, time that's kind of wild the, the way that they just go out of the club and then just hop onto the scooters hop onto vehicles yeah and I'm like dude no way yeah. and he's like yeah yeah it's just around the corner we were fucking gone for like 10 minutes did you witness many crashes over there I, no. I, I assume this organised th- chaos yeah okay yeah everyone's used to that sort yep. of driving so everyone, everyone's prepared for it it was the same when I was in Taiwan and we were going through the city in Taiwan it, they do the same principle where they beep and they let you know but there is in Bali Bali's worse than Taiwan Taiwan you've got like maybe a fucking handful of uh, stoplights mm. like there isn't there isn't very many stoplights at all in Indonesia it's just intersections with no lines on the road it's like and going up to the country in Australia there's no fucking stoplights yeah but there's no like uh, general road rule of like <laughs> yeah. you give left like mm. it's go it's like how confident are you yeah can you make that turn yeah no then you're go. just going <laughs> yeah. you're just going and then if you're in the if you're almost about to hit something you beep yeah that's yeah. the rule of thumb <laughs> But in Bali, there is no stoplights. There's no fucking lights at all. And it is just go mm. all the time. And there is no lines on the road either. So there's trucks here and there's like seven scooters, it, like all like speckled in the middle <laughs> of the road. And there's just vehicles. Yeah. Either, and the, everyone's going like this. Just death waiting to happen. Yeah, when I look at that many scooters in between insane. that many like semi-trailers, I'm like, that's death. Yeah. You no, signed your like your death wish right there. I cruised around. I got a scooter. I hired one. I didn't even know uh, you could do that. Over Everyone there. does. Yeah, but like it is so easy. You go yeah. up to the one. Like there is so many blokes on the corner that are just want to give you a scooter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is that so? Like, that's their whole thing. They're like, "Do you want to rent a scooter?" I'm like, "I could just drive this away from you." 
and that would be it. I'd but, be asking questions. I'd be like, how recently did someone else die on this scooter? <laughs> like, is this, no, is this one them, you just like peeled off the road? None of them are Oc Health and Safety. No, no, no. And most of them have flat they're all, tires. They're all those Vespa ones, aren't they? Like those, yeah, are, yeah, those yeah, Italian yeah. scooters. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're all you're all cruising around on those. But like, I it's took a, it's a tourist. Like that's such a cool thing, though. Yeah, like, it is. I want to do that. Yeah. No, it was fun. Um, but it was I had the most fun in Bali when I was outside of the city of that like city life. When I was just up the coast, I got a scooter and it was a relatively small like not as heavy on the traffic yeah, so me sure, and kelsey yeah, yeah. could just get, cruise get around out of the cbd yeah like we would just like let's take the scooter up there and then we would without like you know having to worry about like 70 fucking other scooters on the road all beeping at you were you always with kelsey yeah were you do you reckon that added to your uh lack of enjoyment of those experiences like worrying for the miso sort of thing because i always like if I was, if you were, worried if, when if I was you were like, there with me, you probably would have probably been a bit more chill. Yeah, like, big, we big probably would have died. Big fella can take care of himself, sort of thing. Because yeah. I I remember like going to town and that, and always like whenever the miso was there, you're always a bit more switched on, a bit mm. more clued in, a bit more like okay, let's get this party, let's make sure we have a good time, or let's make sure we get home at the end of the night. Sort yeah, of thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. So You've you, got that responsibility. You probably won't be able to let your hair down as much as you would. No, have been able to. but that's what uh, Kelsey and I both said that. It feels like it is designed for the party. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, for sure, yeah. Like, so it's, it's it's not... Uh, when you're in those... Um, that's what we felt when we were in Sevignac, which is, like, the second biggest... I think uh, the... What's the main city called? It's, like, Kuda or something like that. Kosamui. I don't know. Whatever. I think it's in Thailand. Um, <laughs> but Sevignac is the second biggest city, and when you're there, it feels like, okay, this is a party city. Mm. But like, if you go like, is there a 30... t- is there a ton of tourists there? Yeah, like yeah. like like for every like every three olive coloured people. Yeah, but it depends on the a white guy, a white de- Australian going woo. <laughs> it depends on the bar you go to because they've got a lot of bars that are um, for tourists. Oh, no like, shit. and they play all of our music. They're playing AFL on the screen and, and stuff like that. It's really. Uh, I actually have heard that they play curated. they play Australian sports over yeah. there. Like, if you want to watch the Sydney Swans game, yeah, like, it's probably it's probably on in the bar. And you think the lack of fucking is going to help that? No, no it will, oh, I mean, I mean, you know, and this is sort of like a down bad thing right here. But if I'm going to Bali, I'm, I'm fucking. It's the same as Amsterdam. You think so, I'm going to Amsterdam and I'm not doing like I'm not smoking weed and I'm not going to go to the red light district yeah bro that's only where I'm going (laughs) bro as a single man I'm fucking over there and if you're going to be like oh well you're going to face prison time it's like well we'll probably you know better to get rejected in Australia than (laughs) imprisoned overseas you know what I mean it is yeah Yeah. it would be Um, no I think if we were to go back I would like to go back as a group where we go and because you can just get a fucking estate well you know like, for like you, 800 bucks speaking or on this and not i won't dead name anyone but remember when a bunch of our boys went to bali overseas the first thing they did we got sent a photo like could have been two hours off the plane two of the boys were standing there like in shows and two two girls on their arms and they were both holding their junk like, yeah. in the middle and I was just like yeah obviously yeah. you knock that one out of the park and then you get that on with your night that was within hours within, yeah literally off within the plane before hours. they found a hotel room yeah. they had found they picked up the fucking the the fluff yeah. on the on in the cab ride home and I'm not I, and I'm not saying that's a good thing but I mean completely banning that is that's that's that, a great that cannot be good for business no. I mean I don't care like what it said, like obviously it's a bad thing, blah blah blah. I'm, I'm sure, you know, in laws over there, I'm sure a lot of those girls probably don't want to be doing that mm. sort of stuff. And, yeah, and maybe it's to, maybe it's to protect them and stuff. Yeah. But as a, and maybe I should just leave it at that. But I was gonna say as a business move, sort of thing for the country, which relies solely on tourism. tourism yeah. It seems like a weird thing to pull from the. Like, I, I would understand if if like drugs were legal over there and then they made drugs legal, I could justify that. Yeah, but it's like no carnal relations. Yeah, no, that's that's ridiculous. That's if they imposed this law here, we'd be like, this is fucked up. It's like it'd be like no masturbating or something. That's it's like no effectively banning Tinder. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're like no, no Tinder. Oh, here's a I just really clicked on. Keep to, talking. I drop my fucking thing. to Tinder. It was um. The logo is what set me off. 
So I did the logo set you up. I didn't understand why the Tinder logo, and I'll just pull it up here for context. Isn't it a little bit like fire, like a flame? Yeah, and I didn't realize why it was a flame. So this is a bit of a uh, I don't know if any YMH fan comes across this. This is a Pizitsky Piz- effect for old me. Um, I didn't realize the flame was the. Um, so when you send a message, you spark a flame between <laughs> someone else. And that's why they call it Tinder sure, because yeah, of yeah. a Tinder box. And I'm like, oh, that's why it's like the way that it is. Never occurred to me. Not at no, all. No, not at all. Look up the uh, logo for Grinder and let's see if we can find a relation to anal sex because I'm pretty sure that's all that happens on that app. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I mean, that's how I look after <laughs> anal sex. <laughs> no, I reckon it's because most people do it like, want to remain anonymous. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> yeah. No, like, either you're wearing a mask during or you want to wear one yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't look in the mirror. That's yeah. what that means. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like after a, ju- that, you look like a juggernaut yeah. <laughs> fucking from M Dub 2. It's funny how, like, females, like, often like to say like they're just as horny as men they're just as promiscuous as men but grinder didn't start off as a uh, a gay app and then mm. within moments just like littered with men i'd just it's, lean into it if i was the grinder developers I'd be like yeah this did. is what we made that, it for or, or, or no i think i don't think they've lended to that hub but the, they kind of like maybe like meme on it a bit and go like mm, you know it's not like the only fans guys where it's like wait is all of our platform porn? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we remember the CEO oh, came out. He's yeah. like, wait, it's all porn. No way. Wait a minute. It can't be. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah. hold on. Yeah. Who made it all porn? Did you make, Steve, I, did you make it all porn? I fucking told you. <laughs> <laughs> he was very upset. We should pull that up because people would be like, no way did the the CEO, um, what was it? Uh, only fans CEO figures out figures it's all porn. That's very specific. Yeah. There's a very biased uh, explained porn ban. Do you remember they banned it for a little bit? Yeah, well that's when he was like, I can't believe it's porn. <laughs> We're gonna ban porn. That was so funny. Remember when OnlyFans I'd totally forgotten about that. It was caught up with all of, like, the COVID shit and, like, Kobe dying, I was distracted. But yeah. OnlyFans are banned porn for, like, six and a half hours and watched their revenue fucking yeah, dip and like, was like, no, we're, we're going to bring porn back. It was like Prohibition in America. Yeah. It's like they banned alcohol <laughs> and everyone's like, actually, beers are nice. And they fucking got back beers on. Are, beers are good. Beers and tits. Wait, yeah, beer. Oh, is OnlyFans an American company or is it some shady fucking... I think it might be an American one. But they did uh, they did ban porn for a little bit. Explains why the site banned porn. Yeah, 24th of um, August 2021. OnlyFans CEO Tim Stokely says the firm had no choice but to ban porn after an unfair treatment by banks. That's right. Do you remember the... Ah uh, man, I've totally forgotten this story. Yeah, was yeah, huge. No, yeah. And then it fucking the banks were pulling shit from it. Yeah. Like you couldn't use um, like the banks money. didn't know either. But, like you you couldn't use um real money on the fucking site anymore mm. and stuff like that. Yeah, that must have last been week. Resolved. OnlyFans. Uh, this is um from uh the uh, August, August twenty one. Art- yeah, August article. Last week, OnlyFans said it would no longer allow, quote, sexually explicit content, end quote, on its service as of October 1st in order to comply with requests from its banking and payment providers, so like PayPal and, you know, the other ones that come with that. Um, It's not clear yet how OnlyFans defines such content. The firm said it would continue to allow certain posts um, containing nudity, though. That's exactly what I was about to say. I was like... OnlyFans is meant to be a very confidential site. Only the creator can, um, to her fans, her to her subscribers, and there's like the yeah. there's like a rule between them that nothing gets out. If you're banning um, sexual content, you must be vetting every single thing that goes on yeah. OnlyFans, which must be a, a breach That's of that true. privacy thing. 
Which wouldn't have went well. I mean, it wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, it's rough, bro. Because like you ninety, you, you're. It is commonly known that your entire platform is dedicated to this type of content. This is essentially OnlyFans is a R-rated Patreon. Well, I I think they um the way they got around it was like the media say like the I think the media actually helped in this one like the pro women media were like. Oh, so women have finally found a job where they can sell something yeah, and and make tons of money, which they were, and, and you're going to take that away because of blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Because they're I, making money. I think the OnlyFans people lent into that and was like, you must be anti-women like women empowerment. Yeah, I can't remember how they got out of it, but that sounds like the way that they would have done it. That's the way I would have sold it. Oh, for sure. That's the... that. Yeah, no, you, you have to lean into that. And you know what? This doesn't ruin my future at all. <laughs> of course of course let him do it yeah I don't of fucking course. I don't fucking care yeah like as, I don't, as I don't long care as the all. OnlyFans women know that it's not just your subscribers getting that no of course well, not. I promise you yeah because I'm that. still getting it and I'm not subscribing I'm not paying <laughs> I'm not giving you a fucking dollar and I've I've, I've seen it all I've seen it all man. but cause you, just from a Google search. It's not like I'm going oh, through easy. like backdoor channels to no. access like nuclear launch codes. No, I literally just Google like, oh, that person started an offense. Just that person. OF leaks. OF leaks and just yeah. bang. Done. It's right there. First page of Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have to go to the, the second only, page on Google. The only it's step that, that I do easy. is a um, like an incognito search. I do incognito yeah, yeah. mode. Just because I don't want it on my history. Do you know why I do incognito mode as well? Why? It's ma- Oh, man. I just... I hope it's the same reason I do, but go on. I uh, recently... Apple do this thing where it's like you can just join a family... Like for Apple Plus or Apple Music and that. You can just add different accounts to it. But a part of that family sharing thing is, is, is I can, when I'm on my computer, right, on Google Chrome, in the little taskbar down the bottom, it will come up with another little bubble for Google Chrome with a laptop above it, and I can click on that and see what Reese is looking at in his room. Ugh. So, and I told the boys straight out, I said, all right, Reese and Street, if we're going to be looking at, um, you know, some, <laughs> some explicit content, <laughs> we're like, we you go, go incognito. Yeah. Because it doesn't pop up if you go incognito. Yeah. But, it's just control shift N. Yeah, but but it was the I was just at my taskbar and I was like, what the fuck is that? I clicked on it and luckily Reese was just on YouTube or whatever. I'm like, how do I have access to what he's looking at on his screen right now? I can bring it up just like that. Mm. And there was just this family show. I can't figure out how to turn it off, but you can skirt it by incognito. Mode. Incognito is And my dad was gas. like Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> no, thank, thank I, I do it because incognito doesn't save my search history. So like when I search O, mm. I don't get like. I, I, <laughs> I do all of my uh, my porn stuff through incognito. Right? Yeah, no, it's the only way to go. Like, um, I don't need because you know, sometimes I pass you my laptop. Yeah, and that could be wild if, I, <laughs> if it was just all that, you know. Oh no, I reckon we're getting onto some similar fucking ground here. Um, Maybe we'll switch topics. Would you like to do a joke, my friend? You can do one if you want. Should I do one? What do you want to? Do you want me to read it? No, no. This one, this one, I'll read. This no is worries, go for it. This is some jokes that uh, I have written within the last couple of days. We'll do. We'll do a joke, then we'll go to break because I, I, I'm, I do need a piss. No, so that's all good. Yeah. yeah, no, that's easy as. Close this uh, first part out with a joke. <clears throat> So, I don't know if you heard about it, but Henry Cavill is no longer playing Superman, only weeks after announcing his return to the role. It's hard to believe this gorgeous hunk of a man won't be returning to the big screen in the suit that stands for hope. But if anything is going to keep your hopes up, it's remembering that he jerks off just the same as the rest of us. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> we'll be right back with the second part. Right, welcome back to Doing Bits. We, well, I at least hope you enjoyed that joke that I wrote. Um, probably not, <laughs> judging by the TikTok numbers that we've been putting out. And um, quick plug check out the TikTok. 
<laughs> we need check the out views. The TikTok that isn't doing well. That isn't doing that well. No one likes. Yeah. <laughs> check that but out. we will keep putting out these jokes. My jokes will get better. So for the listeners that are listening now, um, you're watching the. You know, they say like, "Where were you when when it happened?" <laughs> like, people remember like when you're famous, when yeah. you're headlining Madison Square Garden. <laughs> I was like, oh god. I remember listening to like the infancy, the, like the, yeah, sh- the Henry the, Cavill joking the, off the, joke. The Henry Cavill joke. Do you remember? Yeah. Does anyone remember? That and might that- be my sucks and great right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crowd uh, pleaser. Yeah. yeah like, um, the crowd at the end of the show, it's like the machine for birds. Like, do it. <laughs> do it. Do the Henry Cavill joke. Do the Henry Cavill bit. <laughs> um, yeah. So, for those people out there that are listening, um, and to translate what we we're just saying, you should go check out. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld sucks and great bit. That's what we're referring to. It's a 10-year-old bit that yeah. he's been working on. Um, just a bit of inside baseball um, between us. Me Good. and Wade's comedy idols. Good bit. Uh, yeah, no, it's a bit that's been refined. Stood the test of time. Yeah, it's murder in front of any audience. That's that's the way that he, that man rolls. Clean comedy. Um, speaking of clean comedy, uh, I would like to read you this or ask you this question here waddles clean clean comedy here go on um when and where is the most dangerous place in new york city when and where yeah when and where is this a joke are, like you like about like is this like a knock knock and i, I mean just, i'll I, give I, i'll I give just you, say who's there oh I'll, I'll i'll give you the answer the the north and south building 2001 <laughs> Oh. All right, <laughs> you fucking caught me off guard with okay. that one, you bastard. Speaking of clean comedy, um, you do you have another topic you, you want to get into? Fucking got me. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't laughing at nine eleven. I was laughing at how yeah, like no, was, how lost I was at that. Yes, no, that's you're uh, an asshole. That's uh, that is a uh, a predicament to get stuck into. Just oh, like yeah. just like those people. Um, but anyway, what's going on? What do you have for me, good sir? So I was at um, a party the other day. Yeah, it, might, it was probably a few weeks ago now, and it was just that uh, like finger food party, right? And um, no names, but some fucking lady mm-hmm. grabbed like what's she wearing? I don't know. Uh, winter coat. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I've got no idea. <laughs> winter coat. <laughs> winter coat. I got no idea. The, um. But she was eating like a a sausage roll, right? Mm-hmm. And she not only like dipped once, like and there's just like you know a plate of sausage with like with the sauce in the middle, like a taco thing, like a taco tray, yeah, and tub of sauce, tub of sauce in the middle. Mm-hmm. And she ate the sausage roll, dipped again, and at this point I'm like, all right, that's you know a social faux pas, okay. as far as I'm concerned, but not nothing egregious yet. And then back a third time. A third time. Yeah, and and like because the sausage roll part was small, she was getting her fingers. Oh, and I, and I was, oh, oh, oh. and obviously oh. that sucks. And I think universally we can agree that sucks. But I know that double dipping for some people is mm. a red flag. And I just wanted to get your thoughts on double dip in the double dip, double dip in the snack tray. You know, <laughs> I have double dipped in my time. Is like it, I'm not going to say that I haven't. I double dip if it's me. <laughs> like just like I'm just there with a bag of Doritos on my belly and a, yeah yeah that, I mean that's a different scenario and a salsa I'm not at a party but I'm never double dip double dipping in public I'm never like no it and just it, seems it, it is unfortunate because is this white people thing is this a or is this do you reckon this is nah, cross culturally yeah no nah, I reckon the minorities get it I reckon they do yeah yeah I reckon I reckon yeah, probably I reckon they might be worse with it. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm just fucking with you. That's just, a white people I, I, thing. I, I, just, <laughs> I, just, I just knew that would get an eyebrow raise from you. That's a white people thing to that, say. That, uh, the, I don't mind doing it by yourself. Or even, you know, with your significant other. Mm. Because, arguably... I double dip that, with her, that, that's for sure. Oh. <laughs> yeah, go on. But arguably, that piece of food... Like, you know, I'm doing it out of respect. That next bite is not going to be as good because it has no more sauce on it. Yes. I know that. I, yes. that. That's a sacrifice I'm making for the yes. for the, like, the sanitary conditions of the party. Mm. I want everyone to have a good time. Yeah. I don't want no one to go home with cold sores. 
Not that I got him, but you know. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, and yeah, I just I thought it was a funny thing, and just the nerve of that bitch to fucking. Yeah, I mean get to get in there. to get your grubby paws in it three times. Well, my dad saw it. And he's just like, well, well, that's done now. Like, well, I guess we're throwing that out. <laughs> like, well, that's that's hers. Well, well, my dad was like, he, he couldn't even watch someone else go to it. Oh, that's like you got to save him. Oh, <laughs> it's like we, we witnessed it and saw it, and then I was like, well, now we can't let this just lie, lie there anymore. <laughs> like this is now contaminated. Yeah, well, you got to remove it from the scene. See, the double dipping is. It, it's a tricky playing field that you, you don't want to find yourself in. You don't want to be like, oh, I'm going back. And then you can, like, there's a few times where I've dipped, ate it, and then gone back and I've caught myself going back. And I'm like, no, you're not in your bedroom. Yeah. You're not, you, this is. Or like just you and Kelsey. Yeah. Like yeah. sort of thing. And then sometimes I've dipped on the first go and then got a bit of finger in there. Oh, yeah. That's and always I'm, a tough and one. I'm like, I hope that's not the finger I held my cock with. <laughs> oh, oh like when like, you're just taking a piss yeah, out of just that. Taking, yeah. And I'm just like holding the yeah. knob. That is another thing, right? If you're in Australia and you're out the back and you're having a party, Christmas do. You're pissing outside. You're pissing outside, right? Yeah, of course you are. And are you running inside to the bathroom every time to wash those hands? Absolutely not. But you're still getting into the, the bowl of chips. Of course I am. Of course I am. This is wild. <laughs> <laughs> and we're worried about triple dippers. We're worried about triple dippers over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's, people, out, yeah. there's people out here that should be worried about my single dips. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my single dips are more contaminating <laughs> than my triple. Like I'm basically cleaning on the third dip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my fingers are clean so on the third. You should one. be having my fucking hands found some liquid at some yeah. point. Otherwise, that was gonna get rough. Yeah, no, but, the, that that is a good point because I that yeah, you're right. But like, that's when, awful. I I often say oh, this why, to Kelsey. I, I give that like you know short wipe. Yeah, with the the shorts. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're nothing more contaminated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but I've I've had this debate with Kelsey when like say I've brushed my teeth. Um, we've done you know the whole bed routine you've gotten changed you, now you're in bed and Blow now job, I suddenly job, whatever, like, yeah, yeah. obviously yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, triple dip that yeah. um, but then I get into bed and I you know suddenly need to piss again mm-hmm. and I'm like for fuck's sake and you know I'm like you might be a little bit tired or piss whatever piss is such a hard yeah. thing to sleep with though. and then you yeah of course so you get up and then I piss and then I get back to bed and like, I'm in that like haze, half asleep kind of thing that I forget to wash my hands. Mm-hmm. But then I get back to bed and then Kelsey's like, Did you, you didn't wash your hands. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, but I didn't touch my cock that time. Did you? No, because you sometimes I would just stand there and the penis will be the, the uh, perfect amount of hard to flaccid <laughs> ratio. <laughs> That I'll just you be get a, a, you can get a, a solid straight. I'll of just that, be yeah. able to just stare there and just watch it, just fucking. You can psh- judge judge it just from the power. Yeah, of no, your I know, yeah, I yeah. know. There's something. There's like a little man sitting. It's got a desk in my head. Like it's all okay. Uh, this one's fine. And then I don't touch it. I don't think I should wash my hands then. Well, this is an surely I'm not washing my hands then. And this is a gross thing that I'm going to admit. Oh God, here we go. I I don't. Uh, necessarily wash my hands every single time after I take a piss. Oh, Even if I'm in the bathroom, I'm skipping so the basin. So hard to learn things about you, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, fucking, I reckon, <laughs> if I'm the only one, that sucks, but bro. Yeah, but like, even, even if you fun, like, like, you know, fumbling the, the, the knob at the end. I'm like, not, I'm not doing that. I'm going there. Well, oh, like, you're not rolling dice no, with it. No, like, it's for business, not pleasure. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. there exclusively to complete a task. Yeah. Well, like, but you still got grippage, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if if I've got grippage, and especially if I've like, you know, that's manky. Warm all, day. On all, all, <laughs> all day long, that's been manky. Like, there's build up that no. I don't want there. That no. should be not be there. Let me just say you don't want to. That's why my hands off sometimes. I'm like, you don't want to grab my TV remote. Let me just say that. Like, you know, yeah, like, yeah, no blue <laughs> lights in your room. Well, I don't know. I mean, there is no fucking way you wash your hands after every piss. Every single time I piss, you wash uh, your no, hands. No, no, well, if, we, if yeah, we, we just went out there no, if, before. You if wa- I'm outside, I no, I didn't hands. even touch my cock. Yeah, so why is it? I don't touch my cock. 
Well, you just sort of flop it over the no. The I just I, I just go fucking give it an exit point, and then it just flops out because it's huge. <laughs> it's, got, it's got some weight behind it. Yeah, he yeah. wants to get out at this <laughs> point. He <laughs> He's like, "Why'd you hide me for yeah, so long?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, see the light of day. And I'm like, yeah, out the door. jokes on you. It's dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. No, but it just falls out, and then I just fucking stand there and kind of like, you know, move my. I'm more pelvis than hands. Yeah. And then I just fucking lean out kind of have my hands around in case there needs to be like some spillage that needs to be catched no I get that I guess I'm just unsanitary Maybe. I just fucking I don't know How also how long do you wash your hands for I mean I get soap on them and then because sometimes rinse them I'll just do the um the, the only, like sh- no no the only hand that's touched it <laughs> oh no that's so fair just though. like tap on but that's the same <laughs> argument that I'm saying <laughs> yeah. it's like if I didn't touch it I shouldn't wash my hands <laughs> yeah. it's like well at least you're gonna wash the hand that you touched it with yeah, that's yeah, so yeah. fair I do a bit of that especially in like public toilets oh yeah like because I, I don't know I've been touching other shit yeah so you're yeah. gonna wash up I'll, I'll do the everyone one else's been touching shit stuff. but um if I'm just like you know wake up in the middle of the night take a piss I'm not standing there for 30 seconds washing my fucking hands I'm going back to bed yeah and how nah, dare there is you for there is times that I've out. done that. There is times. Yeah, every that I've done time. That. Don't lie. But to not me. not every time. Though. Don't grandstand. No, like, no. It is it is a strong ninety five I mean, percent yeah, of the time. You can lie if you want, but I mean we all yeah, know. Yeah, but you you just said that you don't <laughs> do it at all. I'm like no, no. no well, it, it's more rare if I do it than if I don't. Let me just say that. I mean. It's, <laughs> <laughs> It's not a... I'm like that, That you know, there's a fucking patch on the grass outside where I've chundered and then it's killed the grass. So, like, in the times that I've thrown up on the grass and killed the grass is probably as I've touched my cock and then gone to sleep after not I've that pissed. many times. No, no. Oh, well, yeah, I suppose that many times because I've only done that, that once. So, it's like 95% of the time I'm washing washing my hands. You're a gentleman. Yeah, well, I got a finger, bitches. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, did you yeah. wash your hands more when you had oh, a significant oh, other? Of course. Yeah. Well, you can't you be tracking, you tracking in. Fucking... I'm a well-trained dog, mate. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I run laps around it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I understand that. No, you. I suppose, like, if you if you're just going back to bed. I mean, there is a, there is a few times that I've done that where I'm just like, fuck that. I can't be fucked with this. Yeah, but, like, I'm that guy that, like, you know, doesn't brush his teeth at the end of the night if the night's too late sort of thing. You always do that. Always got to brush my teeth. Because how, many hate... time, how many times do you shower a day? Once. See, I I double you in showers, but less teeth brushing somehow. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. I, I shower twice a day. Okay. Once at the start and once at the end. You know, get you ready for the day. You want to be... Nice and fresh. I think that's the... And cl- then after a full day of work, you want to fucking get rid of that before you hop back into bed. Yeah, no, I think you're right for doing that. I think you're... That is the most... I guess my jobs have always been a bit more physical than yours, though. You're, yeah. you're, you're not doing a lot of physical labour in your work, so... Yeah, see, there's the debate because, like... Well, the debate between me and my girlfriend is that I shower in the morning, she showers at night. And which is better, though? The showering at night. Why? Because you've got the day stink on you. You don't you like in your bed is meant to be like nice and clean. Not my bed. Yeah, but it's not clean though. Because it's not is... the things that you're doing in it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, no but, but no, but like you say my job, I would just sit uh, say I wake up in the morning and I've got like the night's musk on me. So you, I get you, rid I get rid of that taking that to bed with you. I get no, I get rid of that in the morning. No, but you're taking it to bed with you at night. Not no, because it's developing overnight. Oh, what you get worse overnight? <laughs> of course you do, because you're laying. For, it's, it's like marinating. No, because like, say you're awake for sixteen hours on average, eight hours of those you're asleep, so you're fucking shedding skin throughout that entire time. Regardless, you're changing your sheets. Well, maybe you don't, but like, you're changing your sheets because you're shedding skin and it gets grimy. So you're laying in filth regardless you know what i mean so like i'd rather wake up not have that filth on me for the entire day mm. but like that's how you solve that is shower twice no but see i i can see both sides of the argument yeah because you participate like, in both and that's why i do both yeah 
I'm like, I can see why Kelsey wants to do it mm. at night, and I can see why you want to do it in the morning. Yeah, because I want to. I want to wake up in the morning and then like I have like a you know a. 10 minute normal shower and then for the last like 5 minutes or so it's all cold Yeah, it's all cold shower so I'm just standing how there. cold no like the heat the all the heat Ice is off cold? yeah well I don't well, it's cold as it can get I don't have the heat that's on that's too cold no just stand you there got, you gotta it. like you know tease yourself a bit like a little bit colder no well, I, like, I tease myself at the start <laughs> Where it was all warm and nice. And no, then but you I, don't then just shock the system. Yeah. You, no, I do. You are warm every up Every time. It. Every time. That, you're going to get a fucking... You're going to have a heart attack. <laughs> no, I won't. You will. You should do it. No, I do do the cold, like, end of the shower thing. Especially but you like, just especially like, over. But, like, I'm like, I don't want to fucking rush into it. No, it's way better to rush into it. No, it's not. Because then, you, then you're like... <gasps> yeah, but that's all that in your can't. blood. That's all your blood rushing to your vital organs. Yeah, but... I, is that a good thing? Well, after it's like after you do it a few times and you don't have that like massive panic breath, then your body starts to uh, go. I understand this. I know what's about to happen, and you don't go. <gasps> you just go, okay, and you start breathing more heavily, and your body starts to move the oxygen or the blood or whatever around like- to your. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, you like become more attuned Everest. to it. But if you don't do it for like, you know, four or five days after that, and then you hit it with the cold straight afterwards, you hit well, that like... Yeah, see, I don't do it every day. I don't only do it when I'm like hungover and I need to like get rid of that layer of rust, that hungover rust. Yeah, yeah. Right it knocks off like 25%. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, it's really good. Like a warm shower can make me feel worse on like hungover days. Oh, yeah. Where I'm like standing there, I'm just like... Ugh. Yeah. God, I feel like a piece of shit. No, uh, sometimes you need that cold. You and need um that. Yeah. from what I from what I've read online, it is like um you know, those polar plunges and cold showers can still do uh, develop the same effect. I guarantee with whenever you have like an extra ten K to spend, oh, you're, yeah, I'm gonna get, get you're gonna get a polar plunge. Oh for sure I will. For sure I will. I've already enjoyed the cold shower. And as what I was saying before, um it is concentrated adrenaline. In a way, because when you get when your body is exposed to that such like extreme uh, coldness, it is protecting those vital organs and releases adrenaline because your body's like, "What is happening right now? I can't believe you've put me in this fucking thing." So you get hit with all this adrenaline and endorphins, and then that. Well, you, ad- you don't reckon you can get it by like edge in there, like edge in your way there. You know, like I don't, you, I don't know if you, you can get it. You like. You jerk off over yeah, the yeah, edge, yeah, right? and then it's yeah, better yeah. at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> it's yeah. not the you same. Don't, thing. You don't let yourself go straight away. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I don't no. want to go straight to the end. No, you want to, you want to like uh, work up to it. <laughs> yeah, you do want to work up to it, but I, I don't know if you get the same effect from that. But I know at least that when you're um, exposed to those extreme temperatures, especially the cold, and I get the same kind of effect from the sauna. Not as much from the sauna, more so the cold because it's such like a holy fuck like you got to be in the sauna for like 20 minutes 15 minutes before you start to feel those um battling adrenaline endorphins because it's the last seven minutes of your sauna sitting that you you're in a mental fucking battle (laughs) with your body your body's telling you to get out now like you're dripping with sweat like you can barely see see I, i get out just before then before that part kicks in. Nah, see, the and bliss is like after. A, the bliss is after. Yeah, is you being. going? No, but is the bliss just like, I'm glad that's over? No, or it's if, the, if it, I don't experience it, then I'm, I'm gassed, you know? Like, if it's like, if you... See, the problem... I know you're a Joe Rogan fan and all, and all that sort of stuff, so all these polar plunge people, they're all extremists. And I don't know... No, but neurologically, that, that, but, but, but it, it releases their, it. That's their personality. No, but like neurologically... Like, like, oh, no, you, if you're not doing it 150 fucking percent, then yeah, it but, ain't no, worth you doing. What about this, like, the neurological science behind it? Where well, it actually, I, haven't, I haven't read any peer-reviewed studies on the... Like, uh, Andrew Huberman is, is a good one. Is a good, he's a tenured professor at Stanford that studies neurological benefits of... Shocking the, the system. Yeah, well, like, in, in those environments and... He's because read. your body gets there anyway. I don't understand the shocking the system part. Well, the shocking of the system releases the adrenaline. So, like, if you're tired... But, but, when- it, but is an adrenaline rush, like, 
a health benefit or is that just like for the it ju- moves for, shit for, around for, for the junkies like the rogans of the world well it, it moved it moves shit around so like you uh like he says the same thing for sunlight exposure so like when you wake up in the morning and if you spend 10 minutes on, outside, the, on the surface of the sun no, <laughs> <laughs> so i'm sure it's extreme <laughs> if you spend 10 minutes just outside exposed to sunlight with no sunglasses then those 10 minutes that you will spend exposing and absorbing that light will help you sleep better that night and the night after. Mm. And it's just your brain, um, well, I'm butchering it, but it's like he's, it's basically absorbing it and registering that's a part of your cycle. So you, you know what the, you got like the, the, what do they call it? Like the saccadic rhythm or, or whatever. Um, Oh, it's some rhythm that happens when, uh, like, you know, the sun comes up, like, all the animals wake up. And sure. it's like, you're a part of that rhythm. And you waking up in the morning and absorbing that light, register, your brain registers that you're getting into a rhythm. Yeah. So, like, it helps it hit the beat every single time. So, it makes waking up easier and also makes waking, uh, going to sleep easier. So, direct sunlight expo- exposure is, like an easy way for anyone to um, get back into that rhythm of sleeping and waking up at a normal time. So you've got that, and then you've got the cold exposure, which is a very extreme version of that. So I think they're both, like, correlated, and, like, they're all speaking on the same thing. It's, like, it's more, uh, like, natural or primal for you to do this, extreme kind of thing and it's yeah. also it's also i think um i, with agree, the, I agree getting with the extreme the, temperatures i just don't know if that that um going from zero to a hundred is the like if it has any less health benefits from doing it you know i think it, it's a cause, psychological cause, benefit because your body gets there at the end anyway your body's still experiencing those temperatures yes but it is the point of waking up and doing something that you don't like doing Sure. And getting yeah. that out of the way. Might have more mental health benefits. Yeah, no, it, it, I think it pays forward because if you wake up and you do something that you don't like doing and then get that out of the way in the morning, um, then you will be on like a snowball effect for the rest of the day. So you've anything, any other task that is put in front of you, you've already accomplished what would be the hardest task of the day would like mentally be like, fucking drag yourself into like five degree water mm. and then sit there for a minute while you're shivering that do- that makes everything else that you're going to experience on a typical day very easy to deal with <laughs> sure it's i like- mean yeah i understand that but so it's like um like severing a toe in the morning you know what i mean no because like, like, like it- that sucks Yes, so, and, so does submerging yourself yeah in but like that's hy- actually got health benefits yeah i guess so well, like severing a toe, now now you don't have a toe. Yeah, or, <laughs> but you know what I mean, though. Like those extreme. Yeah, but it's like just because like, you're oh, gonna like, get there anyway. Well, my day wasn't as shit as it was when I woke up. Like you know, I don't want to live my life like that. That's such a weird way to such a weird extreme way to live your life. It's like, well, if you fucking you know, wake up and you deprive yourself from oxygen for sixty seconds. Like you know, and you. Wake yeah, I don't up think it's as black and white as you're painting it. For air. I don't think it's as no, black. The way and you just said it was like, if the start of your day is shit, the rest of the day is a lot easier. Yeah, so if you lo- do the right activity, not fucking starve yourself of oxygen. No, no, <laughs> then, you, then you got problems. Sure, I guess I guess it does have to have like. like health it's just like, it's a marathon matter, every morning. Like I would wake up when I was in sober October. I was waking up and doing twenty push ups every yeah. like when I'd fall out of bed into doing push ups. And I didn't enjoy doing those push-ups, mm. but I did them because I didn't enjoy doing okay, them. Okay, wh- where do you where do you level off though? Like, do you after run, do, doing do, do, the do, hard do thing, do you run a marathon every morning? Like, where is where does no. it stop? Because that's a health benefit. No, well, not uh, running a marathon every day isn't a health benefit. You're gonna fucking die doing that. You work up to a marathon, half marathon. <laughs> You change change the goalpost back. You do it. You Call do it. Marathon. You do it. You do it. So, like well, I mean, you wake up and do thirty second sprints. You can do the exact same thing. It's just a matter of choosing to do something that is very difficult and physically demanding that pays benefits physically mm. to you. Uh, That's the thing because a healthy healthy body. It's like you know you, everyone's trying to like make their mental better and make their mental more. Uh, dealable 
but like they separate mental and body. I think it is more body if mind. you make your body healthy because that's something that you can always do. The, yeah. You can always do that. You can't the, just... The, the rest will follow. Yeah. And it will at least help. Yeah. Like you can... No, I'm not saying that like doing complete physical activity constantly is going to get rid of any of your mental demons, but it will at least make it, it more it, dealable. If you're a massive fat cunt and then you get in a shape, I, I bet your depression would go down. Yeah, definitely. And like... Definitely. Maybe it's not true for everyone, but I bet for ninety nine point nine percent of people, and and it, if you're it, it if you're a massive fat cunt, doing something that is hard that you don't want to do, that is the hurdle that you need to get over. Because while you were becoming a fat cunt, you're not doing the things that you don't want to do. You're just playing into pleasure. I think there's a massive misconception where it's like you're like you were saying, you don't want to live your life that way. There's a, all of our ancestors didn't want to live their life the way that they did. Yet we have stories like Spartans and all of these very stone eating people. It's like maybe you shouldn't be doing exactly what you want to do. Maybe that is a white privilege uh, or <laughs> or a privilege of the Western world where you can just be like, I don't want to fucking do this because I'm better than this. I, I actually deserve what makes you think that you deserve to be able to go, I don't want to do this. No, I think I was just saying, like, I don't know why, like, if you don't do something very hard in the morning, then the rest of the day is going to be bad. It's not going to be bad. It could be. It's going to be way harder. Not necessarily. You can, like, you know, on average, leave your cold plunge to the end of the night. You're still getting the same health benefits. Sure, but you're going to be super awake. It's gonna be yeah, make it gonna really be, difficult. Cold. It's gonna be really difficult to get to sleep. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't do do that. It's just a matter of. I think it's an interesting topic to dive into. It's like you don't want to do this because it inconveniences your day and isn't consistent with the ideal uh, projection in your head of this is what my life should be. I should only do the things that I want to do. Why? Do you think that you have such a? It's it's like a. Uh, um, it's like I deserve this kind of thing. It's like maybe you don't. Maybe you should do things that you don't want to do. And maybe sure. you sh- maybe you shouldn't enjoy doing them, and maybe that's good for you. Yeah, well, uh, uh, pro- most of the things that uh, people don't want to do are probably the best things for them because they're the hard ones, the hard things. Like everything that you want is behind the door that you don't want to open. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. I agree, like, I agree with that. I just don't know about like having to hop in an Antarctic ice every morning is like the solution. I don't think it is. I don't think there's any singular solution. I think that's just one example of of that being a consi- like that. That's like a, a Venn diagram of like if you were to draw a Venn diagram of what's a health benefit, what's something that is very hard to do, and you put fucking polar plunges or exposing yourself to extreme heat or extreme cold in the morning and like combining that with a workout all fits within exactly within the center of that. Whether you've got like a spectrum of possible things you could do. Like you could fucking pick up like kettlebells and like run into yeah, the park. I, was gonna say, I think like, my, I think my problem was with like the polar plunge, like specifically. Sorry, no one wants to jump into like, five degree. Oh, no, 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 but I just don't see like, I would rather do that than go on like a huge run. Yeah, of course. Like, because you, know, you just sit there. It's 30 you, seconds. You sit there. Like, sort for of 30 yeah, seconds. Seems, and your body... It seems easier. <laughs> yeah, no, like when you when you break break down all the other possible scenario, or possible things that you could do that would, mm. would be very difficult, it... I mean, I suppose you could just do like a HIIT workout where you're just like fucking jumping up and down doing burpees and fucking push-ups. It's like, yeah, but like, shit, that's a fucking hard thing to do. Like, you could do a circuit when you wake up. I think maybe I have a different sort of outlook on it as well because I've done a lot of shift work in my life where my body clock has always been on the other end of the scription yeah, always all night shifts shop. and stuff like that yeah. but I understand like I bet um, farmers and that they probably don't have fucking curtains on their windows because if you wake up mm. and the sun's shining you're probably up too late and then if you go go home while the sun's still shining you probably didn't work that hard enough that day like you know exactly it's, a, right. it's a body clock thing exactly right and, and that, that's probably the most natural way to and live. then if you combine that with uh 
physical activity, which is what our ancestors did in hunter gatherers, it's like that's that is built into us to some degree because across the board, any physical kind of activity reduces depression levels and anxiety overall. That's I don't know how many times that can be proven. Was like how many success stories where actors or fucking whatever have like re- lost their way and they're like I feel so much better I feel mentally fucking present now and not like hating myself so that's kind of proven in quotation marks um, sure and then you combine that with an if, if, if you look more fuckable I bet your you feel mental more fuckable. <laughs> is better yeah I guarantee yeah. it yeah then the, then the um, average uh, person that is I haven't, I haven't checked the data on that but I, I fucking bet dollars to donuts that that's mm. almost a hundred percent of the cunts. Yeah, it's it's just such a fucking challenge to do, and mm. that's I think more like I think the culture right now is coddling excuses, and those people are finding themselves online in these excuse communities where they're like, uh, you know, say like. I became successful or you became successful and then people were like, oh, you, you would say you were talking about your success and then someone's like, oh, that's that's nice that you've got all these things. Mm. Uh, you know, you know that makes me feel shit because yeah. I'm so, you know, because of my situation, they, because they, of A, B and C happened. They, they feel and then, the need to attack the person with the, who's yeah, doing well to because make, of because they feel bad. Yeah, because of A, B and C in their life and then someone else in the comment section will relate to their A, B, and C and be like, oh, no, I understand you because you've we've been through a similar thing. Yeah, fuck this guy. And now this person's got another person to put their <laughs> hand on their shoulder and now they've got this group mentality yeah, yeah, yeah. where they're like, yeah, because it's like a pity party. Yeah. It's like that, that perspective helps no one. Yeah. Literally no one at all. And it's like, all you're doing is just pointing fingers at that point. It's like, oh, your future and how good you're doing is taking away from my future. No, it's not. Yeah. It's just because you're just absorbed in watching it. So I think there is a, like, right now there is a mentality that is excuses. And while also at the same time on the other side of the coin, we're becoming aware that, like, you know, men have mental health problems. Yeah. So it's like we've got this like spectrum of on the far side it's like men do have mental health problems that's why they kill themselves more often. And that's real. That's an, 100% real. An interesting stat that I heard was that um women are more likely to commit self-harm mm. but men are way more likely to actually kill themselves. Yeah, cuz they're so more violent. It's an interesting statistic. Yeah. Like where and I'm not throwing shade at no women sort of thing, but it seems like men seem to take it to the nth degree a yeah. lot a lot faster maybe yeah. don't think it through no yeah, we express they, they, ourselves they, they more say physically women have like a much more like like more sophisticated brain and stuff like that like I agree. Pro- probably like uh weigh up all the options a lot yeah. more than we do i agree completely a more, we're a bit more blunt yeah no we we we're, we're a bit more physical uh, well we're a bit more we're we're more way more physical like the amount of parties or whatever just from my you know, confined view of the world. How many it's girl like, fights have you seen? Yeah. Years, compared to how many guy fights? Yeah. It's like, I can't know. I could even... Yeah. It's probably like a hundred to one. Yeah, probably. And it's like, we will, or men will, um, go to the nth degree on that. We'll, we'll follow through. Yeah. But like, say women will be a lot more mental with it. Yeah. Yeah. So they might deal with a bit more mental demons. Yeah. Than, than we will. But, you know, like, it, it is difficult because, like, we have this, like, pity fucking culture vein running running through mainstream right now. But we've also got this awareness thing that is very real. So it's, like, it, it's, it's hard to, like, juggle both of them and also, like, sift the, you know, bullshit yeah. from the fucking... And that's the thing, From right? the truth, you know? Like, you do get a lot of these, like, and I will say absolute fucking morons. Yeah. Where, like... You know, who just take it to the nth degree with the certain ideologies and stuff like that. The but, victimism. But, but it also has propped up just awareness about other people's things. So it's like, if you can't have one without the other, I'd rather have both that group of fucking yes. spazzes there so yeah. we can have awareness yeah, about Yeah, I want to hear these. all opinions, yeah, no yeah, matter yeah. how stupid they are. Yeah. 
and like and that's that's a that's a problem i suppose that we're going to work through and you can, you can filter through them like you know as soon as you start talking to someone about like if they oh, i disagree with what you said there because of this or whatever within their first fucking thing you you know if this is credible or if this is yeah if this they, is rubbish it's becoming a lot more apparent uh, like we're we're starting to see the uh especially like now after we've come over that like you know the height of that uh um victimhood wave where like you know woe is me kind of thing and now we're going to go yeah well you could probably fix your life you you're writing this from an iphone yeah like you, you know it's like it depends on how savage you want to get with it but, but like, a lot of these people do lack perspective in, in, a, in yeah. a way where it's like um there's white people how, stuff. how yeah how privileged a position must you be in for you to find time in your day to complain about yeah, this. Like the Bali people I was talking about earlier, is like they don't they're not thinking about any of no. this kind of thing. They're thinking about where am I gonna get the food, yeah. how many scooters am I gonna rent out? Yeah. Like it's it's like if, if, if you live if you've lived in Australia and you think you live you've lived paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> no, yeah, you haven't seen paycheck no, to paycheck. No, right? I walked down I walked down in Seven Yaks Main Street and I literally it, it was like one of the main takeaways I had from Bali was walking down and seeing five star hotels uh, five, five star hotels five star hotels and then right next to it was a shack that some guy built with like just fucking tarpaulin and all this shit string together with like literally nice string together with string yeah and then next door was like a nice house another five star five star and another shack and it's like there's no uh this would never happen in the CBD of Adelaide. That no one would let this man. Oh, nah, although or, the homeless thing is pretty rough. No, but th- what I was looking at was a like a community of people living uh, yeah, next yeah. to they, a five star that. hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the middle of the city, and they were well. They didn't. I, mean, I don't want to say that they were homeless, but they looked homeless. Yeah. When you're looking at a five star resort, and you're looking at that, you're like, what? So I buy street food here. <laughs> and I get like a lobster inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, it, it was a weird thing to look the, at. The distribution of wealth is interesting in those countries. Yeah, that, and that does seem to be like a very clear defined line of like. And it's where you set up. Yeah, that's like it's like no, this is my spot. Yeah, it, it, when my dad went over there, he was like, it was so interesting to see how, like, you know, that small, like, you're in the resort. And then you're in the stalls outside of the resort. Yeah. Which they are, they're like, you know, you think these are people just on the street and that these are touristy resorts. If you go out like another kilometer or so, oh, yes. then you get yes. to the real. Yeah, no, that's like, when you're in the, the rough, area. Start, rough areas. And yeah. It's only like a couple kilometers outside mm. of the actual resort. Yeah, those people that you're, you're talking about in that resort, they're used to dealing with tourists. When yeah. you're dealing with like the people that are in those out, Actual outside bodies, areas, like, they're willing to take advantage of you. Yeah, like they're they're not thinking with they the same the, mindset. They see the white skin and they're like, yeah, hey, those hey <laughs> those people that are in the CBD, they're like, we need to not. Well, you know, I suppose they're still ripping us off, but they're like, we want them to come back, kind of thing. You know, like we're not going to you know take their entire shit, like go into their room no, 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 don't want or to anything like this, Yeah, because then, the, then, it. Yeah, then they're not going to come back. Yeah. It's like, we need them to come back. Well, the people in the Written outside, just enough. Yeah. Just enough to, for them, for them to come yeah. back. But the people on the outsides, that's where they'll just, you know, Oh, you got, you got a phone. Take like your lunch money. Yeah. 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 And that's where it's like, Oh shit, this starts to feel dangerous. Yeah. That's what, that's what dad said. He was like, Ooh, like, Ooh. Oh, this, this doesn't feel like the stalls close to the resort. This feels, uh, foreign, <laughs> foreign, <laughs> foreign, even in a foreign country. This is strange. Foreign in a foreign country. Um, should we do? Should we switch gears here and do? Did we, sorry, a couple... did we get on that rant because of my double dipping question? We went on a tangent. Yeah, How did I mean, we get there from double dipping. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're fucking, we're we're linking it all together today. <laughs> yeah, we got into it's a Christmas episode, and, yeah. Christmas and New Year's episode that's here a, at Doing that's, Bits. That's a fun one. That is a good one. Uh, Bali is a good good topic to talk about. Um, maybe we'll do a question. Go on then. Okay. <clears throat> what is something? You wish you could have said to your ex before you broke up. Okay. Maybe I'll read I'll read the answers to this one. No and, worries. And then 
we'll do the answers to the next question. Um, so this is, what is something you wish you could have said to your ex before you broke up? <laughs> How many cheeseburgers from McDonald's do you have a week, fatty? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. There's a few responses here. Bloody hell. Oh, I'm sorry I broke your heart. That is so sad. <laughs> yeah, that one's fucking... <laughs> Read some of those, uh, like, hold the up. picture ones. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going to sort by... Okay, here we go. I was sorted by the, the top comments for the crowdsourced information here. Um, so this is, what is something you wish you could have said to your ex before you broke up? The cat was dead before I made sweet love to it, not after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, you spelt your name wrong. <laughs> Did someone tag the other bloke. Uh just remember when you used to taste your own ass off me willy while kissing your cousin. That oh, is that is disgusting. That's that's awful. Oh god, Jesus. Could have told me that before I pumped three hundred and fifty thousand into a new house. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's relatable. That's a that's a broken man right there. Yeah, that is a sad like that mate. Fucking bitch. <laughs> that's a sad mate. Yeah, uh, tipping my hat to you, old Robert Bob. Absolutely. He's got uh, Bob Bob. <laughs> Bob, Bob. <laughs> Robert Bob. <laughs> Bob, 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 Bob. <laughs> call him Bobby. <laughs> oh, okay, you're originally only a bet, but a regular route is better than pulling myself. <laughs> oh shit! Should have listened to the boys. Yes. Damn. Cut that one a couple. Some eggs should be called Fifty Cent because they weigh the way they have many men, many, many, many men. Many, 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 many men. Many, 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 many. <laughs> that was funny. I like that. I like that. That was creative. I like that. Oh, jeez. See, this bloke, is it your sister who was a better room? <laughs> <laughs> Coming in with a heat. Oh, God. That's, uh, that's brilliant. That's a palate cleanser from the last oh, that, one. Oh, that one's going to hurt her as well. Like, you know, <laughs> that's a stinger on the way out the door. <laughs> Holy fuck. It's a bin night. Quick, jump in. I'm taking out the trash. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Thanks for tongue punching my fart box. Um, Uh, That's good. Lee Milne, a dairy farmer has tighter gum boots than you. (laughs) (laughs) That's pretty good. (laughs) Oh, shit. Oh, God. You're not my sister anymore. <laughs> <laughs> People are getting onto the sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they like it's it. It's in the zeitgeist. guys. They like they it. it. Oh, Jesus. All right, so this is an image. If you think you're fucked up, just remember there's someone meeting your ex right now thinking that they found someone special. Oh. Yeah, that's savage. That one made my heart happy. That one's savage. <laughs> that one made my heart happy. That's exactly happy. what I needed to hear. <laughs> Your dad was better. <laughs> <laughs> I like the dads. Yeah. That's good. Shout out to the dads. Uh, you're not my real dad. <laughs> you're not <laughs> my real dad. <laughs> that's a weird thing to say to your ex. Yeah. All right, we'll do another one. Um, here we go. We've got another question from the community. Uh... Right. You, you want to? I just saw one that said, "What's well, something?" Oh, well, I'm not. I'm not going to read these. Never ones. say in bed. Clay Sawyer said, "You taste just like your mum." <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was so. Funny. So this is this is what's something you should never say in bed. Was this one we just did? Oh no, we did the X one. Sorry. Yes, we did the X one. Yeah. Well, I, I won't read any of these. Oh, and let what was. Uh, I thought that was the same fucking question. Sorry about that. Deal out the heat. Oh, let me sort by fucking. Where did I put my beverage? Maybe you ran out some. All right. So, what? What was it? What's something you should never say in bed? <laughs> Interesting name, George Cockram. <laughs> he said, "I think I'm in love." <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> oh, shit, you made me joke on that one. Noah Martin says, night, Dad. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, oh, there's a lot of just fucking your sister and fucking your mum stuff. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, Randolph Watson. Hey, does this look infected? <laughs> uh, that's a bit of fun. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Daniel McKnight. Mum, Dad, that was amazing. <laughs> oh. Oh. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Boys and girls, that's Ooh, fucking... This one just sort of hurt my feelings. Susan Kennedy, I wax for this. What a waste. <laughs> Oh, no, that's that offensive. A, that was a stinger. No, I don't like that one. <laughs> no, I don't like that one. I don't like that one at all. <laughs> that one hurt me. Jesus. Oh, Brock Austin, you missed a bit, man. Oh, Nothing. come on. None of that nan business. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not reading that. Oh, you're not going to read it? Uh, Robbie, Robbie Lindsay says, nice stroke game, Uncle Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just read this one. I don't even think it makes sense. But it said, da- Daniel Digger Smith said that flatulence, uh, flatulence didn't only sound wet. <laughs> <laughs> kind of... I don't know if that makes sense. Or oh, not, I know. He shat himself. He shat himself, <laughs> <laughs> he shat himself for sure. Yeah, yeah, uh, that man shat himself in bed. Let me have a look. Well, what is going on? Oh, whoops. I accidentally did that twice. Never mind. Um... Mick McKenzie says, pretend I'm your uncle. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, gosh. Fuck. (laughs) Pretend I'm your uncle. Jesus. Kevin Linderman says, your ex's name. Trust me. Oh. Have you ever been caught out on one of those ones? No. Have you ever thought about someone else while you were in bed with... uh, I won't say your current partner. I've had fleeting thoughts. Fleeting thoughts. Yeah, so I would have to say yes. Yes, but yeah. like, it wasn't another uh, uh, partner. Are they previous sexual partners or are no. they randoms? No, they're randoms. Oh, uh, you're a better man than me. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan McKinnon says, smell this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Jordan Garrett says, if you found a cougar, the wrinklier the raisin, the sweeter the fruit. <laughs> <laughs> that made me nauseous reading that. That man's a sick bastard. He's a foul union. I'm just seeing if I've... That's just not cricket. <laughs> That's just not cricket. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That's not cricket. I'm trying to see if there's any others I've missed in the year. Uh, there's some from women that I just cannot read for my own, my own, com- my own confidence right now. Yeah. Self-esteem's taking the time. <laughs> Some of these ladies just digging me. Oh, bloody hell. Well. Oh, Ben uh, Guilford. What, what, let me say that again. Ben. Uh, can, can you read that fucking name? This one here. Ben. Oh, not at all. <laughs> ben no. G. Foyle. <laughs> I like how I hair. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, go. Ben, like- ben Goyfu, I like how leg hairs are the same length. <laughs> That's fucking. Oh, man. You, obviously, you've had like a chick say, That's like, hairy. Look, she's like, I haven't shaved. And she's yeah. not necessarily just meaning, you know, the you know the nun's nasty. She's meaning mm. the fucking mm. the legs as well. Yeah, the stuff. Have you ever had a chick with like fucking prickly face hair? No. <laughs> That's a that's a tough uh, a tough, that's a tough one to get around, you yeah. know. I could get there in the end. No, I got there in the end. Yeah, but oh, I mean, like, got like when I got got up, and, especially in like high school, and Wait, I, I didn't have much facial hair. Is there I more mean, bearded women in high school than I was aware of? The ones I was shagging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some of these are just mean. Uh, like, someone said, "My God, what an odor." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. All right, well, maybe we'll leave it at that. If yeah, we've, anyway. If yeah. we've rinsed it. That was a bit of fun. That well, of fun. thank you for the responses. Um, should we wrap up on uh, that one, or did you have another topic that you wanted to get into? Nothing pressing. Did you have something there? I mean, nah. I can talk about something else. Nah. Um, nah, I'm all, I'm all out, and um, we've been running. We've been running the time. Oh, oh, shit, yeah, I haven't even noticed. No worries, I was enjoying this one. Yeah, no, I'm so enjoying was I. it, mate. You know, you got to enjoy it. Yeah, you've got to enjoy it. And 
thank you very much to all of the listeners out there. Uh, please go check us out on the TikTok and Instagram. And as always, if you have a massive fucking head like me and Wade, <laughs> uh, Country Trucker Caps, go get your caps. We're wearing them every episode. They are a um, proud sponsor of Doing Bits, and they sort out our scalps. So, you know, if you're a big-headed cunt, go get a big-headed cap. We're going to try and be more consistent with all the uploads as well. That is something that we've both decided. Yeah. In yeah. the new year, there'll be something different. There'll be a, a big old uh, effort. It's going to be a bit more effort put in. And, like, just the listeners out there, we just know that we've been cruising yeah, at this stage. This is this is our set. We've got, like, a, bit of, we've got a bit of fame face. Like, you know, we, <laughs> we, 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 we had a TikTok laugh and we're like, yeah, we made it. We fucking made uh, it. And then we're like, oh, no, we didn't. Nah. We're still no, in the same house. Yeah, still <laughs> the same I house. thought we were rubbing shoulders with Leo at this point, but, you know, it is what it is. No, but they're in the new year that we're, um, we're going to give it a big old try. So look out for the uh, episodes and maybe give a call back to this one when we said it was all going to happen. How about that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah hold, hold our feet to the fire on it. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's it. Yeah, like, you got to say it to the... Saying it saying it to the public kind of, like, that, solidifies it a little bit. That's why I wanted bit. to bring it up. Yeah. And that, I suppose that one was a little bit for us. That's, so. that's for us. Yeah, yeah, sorry that, about that. That one was for if us. If anyone's to listen, sorry. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for listening. Go check out those social medias. Uh, Doing Bits Podcast on TikTok Doing Bits Podcast on Instagram You catch our shorts Our silly nonsense Don't hold your breath for the jokes There'll be fucking <laughs> plenty more yeah, yeah. There'll be fucking plenty more you'll jokes be, You'll be hyperventilating Yeah, no, You, <laughs> will, you would need to hold your fucking breath for the jokes <laughs> Alright that's me Doing Bits I'm Jack That's Wade Go on Give, it, give us a fucking Ending. Oh yeah, yeah. Speaking of like finding uh, uh, out what yeah. you didn't expect to find out, <laughs> I was with this young girl the other week. <laughs>